so now let's uh, start with the the actual design uh, for that uh, first of all we need to have a frame uh, frame size can be 1440 by the length can be any length uh, i will make it pretty long for now so this is the length that i have got 1440 is uh, the ideal size for me uh, you can have a 1600 width or you can have 1920 width as well but uh, 1440 works for me and uh, i would recommend the same for you as well uh, but again that's up to you like uh, what page size uh, uh, you want to draw on uh, this is the the website or the this is the page size uh, uh, the screen size this is not the size of the container uh, the container size will be much lesser than uh, the size that we are selecting for screen so for example i draw a rectangle a simple rectangle and i give it a width of 1170 and i center align it i activate the rulers uh, by pressing shift r if they are hidden uh, you can always uh, uh, you know show them so once i have them then i will just uh, draw the boundaries of 1170 pixel so now this part uh, where this is the the part where i will be designing uh, instead of uh, the whole website uh, inside instead of the whole frame this is our working boundaries uh, the limits uh, from left to right so now what i'm going to do next is uh, i'm going to add a layout grid uh, and uh, the grid is uh, basically columns this count will be 12 because we are going to design the uh, 12 column grid this is the most ideal and uh, uh, very frequently used grid size uh, normally it, it, it came from bootstrap but uh, now it is most widely used uh, for creating the layout so we will have the 12 columns then uh, the stretch will be center the type will be center and the gutter width i will make it 30 pixel and then i will just keep increasing the width till it touches the boundaries so that is 70 pixel so this is uh, uh, the grid that we are going to use to make our design uh, symmetrical and uh, uh, it doesn't um, uh, you know go random we can always uh, hide and show the grid if we need it uh, you can please uh, press uh, shift r to uh, uh, hide and show these rulers and uh, that's how we can uh, you know make our design uh, if we want to preview it in cleaner view we can do it this way so the first thing now we have to do if you see here is the navigation so let's put the navigation here i'll just make it uh, something like that uh, this is the logo or the name of the company uh, and uh, for name of the company we need uh, we don't need to you know use uh, exact font we can always make it uh, uh, a vector uh, once we have uh, done the font so it's uh, not a problem if you use a uh, uh, font which you are not going to use in the design that's totally okay uh, for this one i'm going to use uh, uh, let's see circular standards and uh, i'll just make it little bit closer to each other so this is what i've got for the logo let's uh, add some uh, effect over here and uh, let's add another effect here and move these both behind the text and once we have that let's add some color like this so this is uh, our logo i'll just uh, group it and name it as logo we can always uh, you know stretch this type so it becomes a vector uh, it's a uh, uh, we can press command e or flatten so now this is a vector this is not a, a text shape anymore okay so now the next part is uh, creating the navigation so the navigation can be something like destination then we have uh, hotels and then we have lights and then we can have bookings and then we will have login and finally sign up and then one extra thing is we can also add language selector so there you go and now what we need to do is uh, we are going to make these as a group and add auto layout and make them horizontal 
I'm going to use uh, Poppins as our uh, you know standard font. This is for your Google font, so uh, that will help a lot. Now the font size can be 16, and uh, let's uh, increase the spacing here to something like uh, 40. Looks good to me. And uh, let's make the font a little bit bolder, maybe semi bold. And uh, we will apply the same treatment for all these three. Uh, what I'm going to do is press Alt Command and C or Alt Control C if you're using the Windows. This will copy the uh, the properties for this uh, specific uh, element, the selected element, and then I'm going to select the all of these and i will press command v and it will apply the same properties to the select layers so now these ones we can have them this one will go here and uh, these two will go here and uh, we are going to add uh, a rectangle around the sign up button and uh, let's move it down here and uh, i'm going to add a stroke maybe a little bit round and uh, going to remove the background of this uh, uh, you know button so now we have this as our uh, a button let's see how uh, let's make the uh, because we have 40 pixel uh, gap here so the same treatment we are going to apply here so if you just measure by pressing alt on your keyboard and uh, hover on anything then it will show that uh, the distance between these two objects so you can see we have 40 here as well and uh, we're going to do the same over here so it's 40 it's 40 now and uh, then we can add a little bit of uh, uh, an arrow uh, we can simply uh, choose our pen tool and uh, we can just create an arrow down here and uh, i'll make it uh, kind of a uh, 1.5 here yep 1.5 is good and then the next thing we are going to do here is uh, we are going to well this one looks a little bit bigger so let's make it a little bit smaller maybe like this and uh, then we are going to make a group of these as well and uh, finally what we are going to do we are going to select all of them and uh, horizontally align so that uh, all of the buttons all of the menu items are aligned horizontally so we have our navigation here let's align this one as well horizontally align all of them are aligned pretty well now and uh, we can make a group of all of these and we can call it navigation there you go so the first thing is done we have the navigation here let's make it move it a little bit upward and uh, that's it let's move uh, these ones to the edge there you are